it's inevitable that you start a video and the wind kicks up like the second you set the camera up. This is Abby Abita. It's her name. She's a replacement for Stella. Stella died last March. Anyway, I'll get to that, to a catch up. But for those of you who are not interested in that, um, I've got a, re a product review. This is the Whitlux, yeah, Whitlux Canvas Pipe Roll. I've been using it for a few months and I really like this product quite a bit. Um, obviously, I like how aesthetically pleasing it is. It's just kind of rugged and uh, neat, but more importantly, I like the organization of it. Um, so it's just got a wrap that holds it together. That you tuck behind it doesn't have any kind of velcro or anything and then on the inside you have the way i've organized mine is you have a uh kind of accessories side and then the pipes of course in the middle and then a zipper pocket for like a tobacco and whatnot and then there's a pocket behind that um, and then there's a pocket on this side as well and <clears throat> kind of the way i've done it this actually came in more handy than I thought it was going to. This is just a leather pipe stand. So you just, it's just a little deal hey, like this. My text message about the finger? No, what'd she say? Mackenzie's coming over for dinner and Mama said you're making steak. Well, Mackenzie doesn't eat steak, so Mama said make some chicken to go with it. Yeah, I saw that. Okay. All right. So this thing is uh, just kind of sets. You just kind of set it up like that and open it and then set it down and then you just set the pipe on top of it so today today's pipe is Missouri Meerschaum but you just set it down in there like that and that sits on the, the table uh, pretty neat little gadget I didn't think I would use and then turns out I use it pretty well but you've got two little long sleeves here where you can put those accessories um, and I think maybe this was inside one of these two pockets, but I'd rather just use it as dual pipes instead of a single pipe and some accessories. Um, and then I use a, you know, a thinner lighter. This is a old boy, but you can just any lighter. And I just put it back in the pocket. Um, so that way it's, you know, you get the pipe lighter in there as well. And then he's got the, the pipe section is pretty neat. It's two little canvas pockets. I think one is slightly bigger than the other one. I think this is the bigger one that's probably designated as pipe and this is the one that had kind of accessories in it but I also use it as a pipe or vice versa I can't remember maybe they're the same I don't know uh, because this pipe is much smaller than this one but so just to show you um, this is a very standard size pipe it's a Peterson Bulldog so it's got a little button fastener there that can, so you can secure the pipes and so I just have the pipe sitting in a uh, <clears throat> down in the pocket and that way you can store your pipes in there like that, man, and then secure them with the little fastener or the button. And the hardware, you know, the canvas is really good quality. It's pretty oiled. It's pretty sturdy, pretty rugged. Um, the fasteners, eh, they're probably not going to last forever. They're kind of a bronze finish. This is, this is a Chinese-made product. It's on Amazon. Um, it actually comes with a pipe that is absolutely not briar. So that pipe went straight to the garbage can, but <clears throat> it comes as a pipe kit. The pipe lighters that it came with were also not very good. So I just threw those out along with the pipe and then um, put some, you know, the regular pipe cleaners in there. But uh, other than that, it's, it's not too bad. The, the, the tobacco pouch itself is not lined or anything. It's just canvas on the inside, canvas outside. So I actually put the tobacco uh, in Ziploc bags uh, to keep it airtight because it's just canvas. It's same on the inside as it is on the outside. There's no coating or anything on the inside of it. So for that reason, I just carry the, the tobacco in, in Ziploc bags. But it works out pretty well uh, to do it that way and have a little tobacco on you where you're wherever you're going. So um, this is the Whitlock, Whitluck, yeah. W-H-I-T-L-U-C-K, apostrophe S. Whitlux uh, pipe, canvas pipe roll, or I think it's called a pipe kit or something, canvas pipe kit on Amazon. 
Um, it is uh, recommended by me. It's a really nice kit. Um, and so I, uh, I recommend it. So that said, um, that's the end of my review. Just a few small updates. Like I said, uh, Stella died in the fall, in, the, in March, spring of last year. She had a um, she had a spinal condition and her back leg stopped working. And uh, so we had to put her down. And then we bought uh, two more exactly like her. So um, she was the best dog we ever had. So we just um, we decided to replace her with two of the same dog. We regretted not getting her sister when we got her, so now we have two sisters. Um, the Back in uh, the first of last year, a, a new tobacconist opened in my hometown, and so that's where I've been. I mean, I just go there and smoke and sit down and talk with everybody and have a good time. It's a good fellowship there. It's a good place. And so that's where I've been smoking, and, um, you know, that's where I've been taking my business and that's what I've been doing so you know I haven't really felt uh, the urge to break out the camera and connect with everybody because I've just been very social lately with my tobacco life uh, it's just been you know uh, over at the at the pipe and cigar shop instead of online but um, I still watch, you know, uh, a lot of people. I just, uh, aren't, aren't, I'm not posting as much. But anyway, um, I just wanted to get on and share that with everybody because it's something that's brought me joy and um, maybe it'll do the same for you. I don't even have a pipe lit to sign off. I don't have, I got wind. Well, God bless you and I hope you have a wonderful day.